Hello guys and welcome back. This lesson is very important because we will be talking about Playwright configuration files. Well, you can type all the options into the command line, but Playwright has a better solution. It allows you to create a global configuration files with all the options for your tests and of course you can have multiple config files and use specific configuration for specific set of tests or suite. And it might sound a little bit complicated, but don't worry, it's actually very easy and straightforward. So let's go to the root of the project and create a new file and name it playwright.config.ts. Now the step number one is to import playwright test config. So import playwright test config. from playwright test and make sure you spell it correctly and you don't have any typos. Next we need to create a variable called config. Well technically you can give it a name you want but the standard naming convention is config and its type of playwright test config. And now we can start specifying some options for our playwright. So first is a timeout, which is a number of milliseconds as a global timeout for all the tests to finish. So let's give it a value, for example, 60 seconds, but you can leave it as a zero and that means there is no timeout. Next, we can specify the retries. And basically this is the number of how many times you want to play right to rerun the failing tests. You can set one, two and basically any number you want. But remember, it can actually make your execution much larger and to take much longer time. If your test is constantly failing due to one mistake, it's very possible it will fail again and again. And if you put a very large number here, all that will happen is that your test will take a very long time to run and your test tool will not be effective. So now we have an object which we call use. And here we can specify uh, browser specific options. So first one is headless. You can set true or false. If you set it to true, it will run the tests automatically in headless mode. If you set it to false, it will run the test in headful mode. Next, we can set the viewport. And we can set the width and height of the browser. So typically you can start with width and add a value of, let's say 1280. And then we can specify the height. And we can set, for example, 720. Next, you can specify the actions timeout and the typical number is somewhere between 10 to 20 seconds. So I'm going to give it 15 seconds. And basically that is the timeout for all the playwright functions such as click, type or wait for selectors before it errors and times out. Next, you can ignore HTTP errors. You can typically set it to true. And next we have two options, which is video and screenshots. But I'm going to put it to off for now as well for screenshots. And Playwright gives you nice options. It can automatically record the videos and take screenshots of your tests or you can set it to record the videos of all tests, but only save the ones which failed. Or you can take the screenshots of videos of first retry. So it will not take the screenshots or videos of the successful runs, but only on those who fail for the first time. But for now, let's leave it off and we will come to this later. And that's pretty much it to do part one. And now we can focus on something called project. In the project, you can override an asset configuration for a specific browser. So it will take this global configuration from the Playwright config and also add project settings on top of that. 
Typically, you want to have separated project for each browser. So let me show you an example. Down here, I'm gonna type project. And project are basically an array. And the first option is, for example, Chromium. So you typically want to start with the name of the project. In this case, the typical convention is Chromium. And I want to use the browser. So the browser name is Chromium. Like this. Second project can typically be for Firefox. So I'm going to name it Firefox. And I'm going to use the browser Firefox. And the last one is for the WebKit. Like this. And that's pretty much it. There's this typical playwright configuration. You have the global options and then you have uh, specific project names. And right now, if you want to run your tests, for example, in WebKit, you can basically run this project and it will run WebKit browser along with all of this configuration. You can do the same for Firefox and same for Chromium. So let me show you an example. In the terminal, I'm going to type mpx playwright test with a flag of config and the name is play write.config.ts and also let's say I want to run a project then I'm gonna add a flag project and the name is webkit and right now the playwright will run all the tests using the webkit browser so hit enter and we have a mistake so what went wrong and I see the problem, I forgot to export the config at the end of the file. So down here you need to export default config and save it. And let's now run it again. And as you can see, the tests are running. And all our tests passed. As, as you can see, the playwright test used this configuration file and the project WebKit, which means we run all the tests in WebKit browser using all the configuration we specified here. And so that's it. If you want, you can also have multiple config files. You can give them your names. For example, you can have a Chrome config, Firefox config, and you can give more complex configuration here. And all the options you can set here are available on the play by documentation. So you can go there and find what options uh, Playwright provides. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Then you just need to put it into the command line. After the flag config, you write the correct name. And that's it. Your tests are running with the config you set here.